This is Scrapper's Workshop Video. Today we're going to blend papers using our brushes. This is for both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. There are a lot of neat things you can do with your brushes that aren't don't involve using them like rubber stamps. Today I'm going to show you how to blend two papers using a brush. What we're going to do first, I've got two papers stacked up, one right on top of the other, and I'm going to put a blank layer in between them. To do that, I've got the top layer active. I'm going to hold my control key down while I click the icon for a new layer, and it puts the new layer underneath the active layer. So now I have two papers with a blank layer in between them. Now I'm going to set up a clipping mask. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and hover my cursor on the line between the top two layers and click on it. What this does is it lets the top layer show only when there's some, where there is something drawn on the middle layer. And right now I've got nothing drawn on it, so the top paper doesn't show. So let's do some drawing. With the middle layer active here and my, cursed, my color set at black, I'm going to use my brush tool and I've got it set with a watercolor brush. And I'm just going to brush around the edges here. Okay, You can see everywhere I brush where it turns black on the middle layer you can see the red paper now. Okay, So this is a neat way of blending these two layers. And you can change the opacity of your brush if you want a real subtle effect. Or you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do to get the effect you like. Now, why do we do this instead of using a layer mask? Because if I decide I like this look and I think this is just the coolest thing I've ever done, what I can do is turn off both these layers and save this as a transparent overlay. You just go File, File, Save, File, there it is, Save As, and change this to a PNG and that will preserve that transparency and then I can save it as an overlay. But I don't want to do that right now. But you get the idea. So that's why we use this technique. Now, let's say we want to do add another color, that this isn't enough color. I'm going to change my move tool and I'm going to drag in a new paper here. And I'm going to hold my shift key down so it centers that paper immediately over exactly over the other one. So let's get this out of the way. All right, now you'll notice it stuck itself in between here and it's uh, clipped to that paper, which we don't want to do. So I'm just going to drag it up to the top of the stack and I'm going to unclip it by holding my Alt key and clicking on the line between them. Now all I can see is the green paper and that's not what I want either. So I need to make a new layer below that layer. I need to make the clipping mask to that. And of course I can't see it because there's nothing painted on here, but if I take my brush and I paint on that mask layer, you'll start to see that green paper come through. See how neat that is? So it's really easy to blend these papers to get some interesting colors and effects going and make yourself some brand new paper. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Find more tutorials at our website at scrappersworkshop.com.